And seven years later, some closure tonight in a murder case that has made national headlines. AJ Armstrong found guilty by a jury of his peers for the killings of his parents, Antonio and Dawn Armstrong. We, the jury, find the defendant, Antonio Armstrong Jr., guilty of capital murder. It is now the order of this court that you be sentenced to life with the possibility of parole. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live at the Harris County Jail tonight with what comes next for the convicted killer, Bryce. Andy, jail records show that A.J. Armstrong has been booked here into the Harris County Jail tonight, which is where he'll stay until being transferred to a state prison. And with today's verdict and sentencing, he will not have the possibility of being a free man again until he's 63 years old, 40 years from now. Followed by a bailiff and his defense attorney, A.J. Armstrong left the courtroom as a convicted killer on his way to serve a life sentence for shooting his parents to death in their home in 2016. Antonio Sr. and Don Armstrong died because they were trying to be good parents. The killings happened when A.J. was just 16. District Attorney Kim Ogg says because his parents wanted to raise truthful, law-abiding children. We've now seen what a murderer looks like. It can be anyone. His parents had been pressuring him about bad grades, reckless driving, and smoking marijuana leading up to their deaths. A hung jury resulted in two mistrials, the third trial two weeks long, and a decision that took this jury just 10 hours of deliberation. A key difference this time, prosecutors brought the crime scene to the courtroom, showing a makeshift staircase and bed. It wasn't just drama, and the jury told us that was very effective to them, um, and so um, we we're very glad we did. Prosecutors say the 911 call, inconsistencies in his story, and manipulation of the crime scene also convinced jurors who used flip charts to reach a verdict. He's devastated, uh, but he's one of the strongest young men I've ever known. Defense attorney Rick DeToto says a notice of appeal has already been filed for the father and husband whose family has stood by him all this time. And they're going to do the right thing and they're going to see this thing through and hopefully get some justice for J AJ. Justice has been served in the eyes of prosecutors, but it's a legal battle his family isn't giving up on. And this third trial also introduced new blood evidence that was found on a T-shirt that A.J. wore the night of the murders. But tonight, a federal lawsuit is pending, and that's because A.J. Armstrong has accused the Houston Police Department of planting that evidence. It's a case we'll continue to follow. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Bryce.